2K Sports and the PGA Tour. Proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Tour Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. Luke Hill alongside Rich Beam and Rich, this player has been playing some impressive golf. They've got the lead, they're where they want to be, but what should be their mindset going into this round? Well, hopefully it's not on the chasing pack because the chasing pack is filled with some big names. So they're going to have to really bear down, focus on to the task at hand. They've got to sit there and keep their emotions to themselves and not get wrapped up in everybody that's around them. Today's promising to be an exciting one. So let's get straight into the action. Let's see what kind of tone he sets for himself today. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Sitting up here from about 160 yards. Choosing the 9-iron nine -nine here. That one seemed to get away from them, Rich. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. Oh, what a super shot. Chip in for birdie. That's always a nice feeling. Why not take another look at that effort? Perfect distance, perfectly judged. And look at that, straight in the hole. sits in first position. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Nice birdie in the last hole for a change. First one of the day. They needed it desperately. Now, next hole, looking for more. That's a tad wayward, not quite finding the surface. And coming up well short. Ooh, that almost went down. Uh, I like that. Always good when you've got hands like that around the green. Judging it beautifully. Currently in first position. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. And after a part of the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. Out of boy, good shot. And let's catch this action from just a moment ago. Let's recap his fourth shot. Well, that's high quality. I'm sure they're aiming for it, but for it to go in, that's awesome. Okay, time to return to the action. Second shot here on the third. That one had eyes for the flag the whole way. Well, that's a handy shot. Butting for birdie. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. Fantastic start right out of the gate. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four.
Handy effort, that one. Playing up to an elevated green here. Opting for the five iron. Yeah, nicely played. Sadly hasn't made a putt all day. Hopefully that can change here. Looking for another birdie here. Oh, I like the look of this. Well, what a lovely putt to make. Back-to-back -back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. And let's have one more look at that shot. Yeah, let's see this again. Have this one on repeat. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Teeing off here at the fifth. Left nothing in the tank on that one. That was pummeled. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? And from about 105 yards... Woo, back there, horsey. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two-putt that for sure. Thirteen feet to the hole. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Go on, get in the hole. Bit too heavy handed there. Eight feet to the cup. And in it goes for the par. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Hey guys, we are checking in with Ricky Fowler as he gets set for his next shot here on the sixth. This one's about 29 feet to the hole. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Here we are at the sixth hole. You don't need to be long off the tee, Luke. It's only 525 yards, but the second shot plays straight back up the hill. So a little length helps. That dog will hunt. Getting ready to play their third. How close was that to going down? Nice recovery there. Such soft hands. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Now on the tee of a long par four.
That looks to be a fairway finder to me. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? He's got, mm, I'd say, a solid 145 here. This one might need to get down a little. That's well played. Pin high. That's the mark of a ball striker. And he's down there. You got a read? Setting up this part 14 feet from the cup. This for back-to-back -back birdies. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Putting for a par now. And down she goes. Let's head over to the 12th. Sitting at minus one. Let's make a move. You're just on the fringe of the top 10. Oh, that one's straight at the pipe. Oh, well done. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. Let's see what happens here at the 8th. Oh, that is crushed. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up here from about 155. Going with the eight iron here. All right, going with a little bit more club. Let's see. Oh, that was pure. This putt is 16 feet to the hole. He's staring down a birdie putt here. And that's going to come up short. I hate to use the word choke, Luke, but that's exactly what happened there. A flat out choke. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Ooh, I always love these holes. Here we have a par three. Going with a three wood here. I nice shot that. That should find the surface. Oh, lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the ninth. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And now that finds him in first place. Always love a new beginning. Here we are at the opening hole of the back nine, the tenth. Nice birdie at the last. Let's see what they can produce here. Oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. And what's in front of them there, Henny? They're setting up this next shot into quite an elevated green, Luke.
anything in five feet to be handy from here. All right, guys, this for two birdies in a row. Ooh, right by the hole. Well, that's a bit disappointing. An opportunity to make their par. Ooh. And this next putt, it's for bogey. Well, that's providing some hope to the rest of the field as our leader stumbles with a bogey. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. And after a bogey at the last, they're looking for a big drive on this hole. Going with the hybrid. This one might need to sit. Quality shot, that one. And now we go to the 16th, where this happened just a moment ago. Fantastic touch on this one. It's in the hole. And back to the play, shall we? This putt is for a big two on the scorecard. Oh. Oh, looked like they hinged in that stroke. Hmm. Short game has always been stellar, and that's just why. Leading by a phenomenal 12 strokes after that one. It's time to begin this powerful hole. That's nicely done. Time for the second shot at the 12. Well, they've certainly got the swing in a groove. Here's Ricky Fowler from earlier. This is how you do it seven days a week. Oh, that's the shot. Go ahead and make one. Don't worry about getting it up and down. It's just about three feet away. This is their look at birdie. You know, it's not if you make bogeys, it's how you respond. Well done. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. It's time to take a look at this 13th hole. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Hey, guys, we're checking in with Xander Shoffley as he gets set for his next shot here on the 18th. Wonderful effort. All over the parking lot, but a chip in for par saves the day. Always difficult to get a gauge of the exact distance when playing uphill to the green. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Not a bad play, that one. And 
Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Okay, steady now. An opportunity to make a par here. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Second shot here on the 14th. Opting for the five wood. Not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Would need to make a long putt to secure a birdie. Looking really good, this one. That's disappointing. Three feet to go here to the hole. Looks good off the blade. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Good sounding strike, that one. Oh, that's a great approach shot. What's in front of them, Henny? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. This one's dialed in. Appears to have overcooked this one. Four feet to the cup. Yeah, this is looking nice. He's currently sitting in first place. Next up is this two-shot hole. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. Oh, absolutely flushed. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Yeah, fair amount of elevation here. They're going to have to be careful that they club up because you do not want to be short. Uh, that might be one club too many. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Ouch, that hurts. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. This is what they have left for par. That's a good putt to make, that one. Still in the lead now after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 17th.
And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. That's a pretty handy shot. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here on the 17th. Let's take a look back at this just moments ago. Looks to be going with the four iron. This putt coming up is for Birdie. Well played. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Well, I like the look of the line here. It should find the fairway. Second shot here at the 18th. The interesting choice of the driver here. That's not quite on the dance floor, Rich, but it's right up there near the green. A chance to perhaps pick up one, maybe two on this hole. It's an aggressive play, Luke. Like to see it on this par five. Seven feet to the cup. Yeah. Round now in the books. Good luck next time. 